Hey, what's up, everybody? St. R. Edwards here. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. We're going to continue on and we're going to do the lab at the, at the end of section 3.6 where we're talking about segways and navigation controllers. So let's go ahead and get started with a new project. We're going to go to Xcode and hit project. Single view app is fine. And I'm just going to call this login. And hit next. Save it to projects. And so in this first video, this is all we're going to be doing is just building building the layout on our or an interface builder. We can keep the landscape left and right checked. That's fine. Deployment target eleven point two, of course, and devices. We can keep that at universal. So I'm going to go ahead and hit main dot storyboard. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in another view controller. Set that aside. For this first one, I'm going to color the view to a light gray color. And then for the second one, I'm going to go pink. You can do whatever colors you like. That's cool. And so one of the things that you want to think about is building this for different layouts, different screen sizes, and different orientations. And so in order us for us for us to avoid having to do a lot of different constraints, we're just gonna throw these into a couple stack views. It's less work and it looks a lot nicer and just cleaner. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go over to the objects library and start typing in stack. And I wanna throw in a vertical stack view. I'm gonna put it in the middle, make it a little wider. Uh, we'll go about we'll go about 260 for the width and then for the height, let's say about uh, let's go about 240. 240, yeah, that's fine. And then we're gonna center it uh, vertically and horizontally in a container, but for now we're just gonna leave it there. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and, and pin this or set the width and the height constraints at 260 and 240. And then we're going to go to the alignment menu and we're going to go horizontally in container and vertically in container and hit add two constraints. We can leave the alignment distribution as it is for this one because we're going to throw another vertical stack view in the inside of this. Uh, that didn't work out right, so I'm going to delete that one and I'm just going to drag it to the document outline. There we go. And now it's a child of the first stack view. And for this one, we want to go, I've, I've played around with this for a couple times and we want to go fill proportionally. And I'm going to go ahead and do the spacing at 25. I've already done this, so the work has been done. So just uh, know that that's a, it looks good like this, just trust my word. If you don't want to, you can play around with it and do whatever you like. So I'm going to go ahead and add two text fields. I'm going to bring one in. And then I'm going to drag the second one in on the document outline. It's, it's a little easier. And then I'm going to search button. I'm going to drag a button there, make sure it's on the same level. All right. And then I'm going to throw another stack view in there. This time it's going to be the, horiz the horizontal stack view. And that's for our forgot username and forgot password buttons. Same hierarchy level as everything else because we want it to be a child of that and that one can stay actually we want this distribution to be filled equally all right and then now i'm going to throw in some more buttons so we're going to go button and make it a child of this bottom stack view and then do the same thing drag in another button on the document outline make sure it's in the same hierarchy release there you go all right, so we got our layout. It looks clean and crisp, but I mean, look at that. We didn't have to set many constraints and have to do, you know, each different one. You know, that would have been a pain. So now what we're going to do is this. For the text field at the very top for our username text field, we can actually change the name over here if you want it. Yeah, let's do that. So let's just change this to username. And then for this bottom text field, we'll just say password. So for our username text field, let's do this. So let's 
go give it placeholder text. Let's type in user name for this one. Hit enter. If it don't show up on yours, like it doesn't show up on mine, it's fine because once you build and run your app, it should show up. And then for the password one, we want to do password for the placeholder text over in Attributes Inspector. Hit enter. And then something else to think about is keeping the password secure. So at the bottom of the text input traits under our attributes inspector tab, there's a, a box that says secure text entry. Just check that and then the little, you know, the little dots, the little bullets will pop up. So, you, so the user or anybody else around them can't really see what they're typing once it is on or in their text field. All right, and so we got that. And then I'm going to change this button, label the title of it to login and hit enter. And then for this one down below, I'm going to say forgot. I'll do forgot username first. Forgot username, question mark. And then we'll change this to a font of 10 or 11. 11 is good. It's, it's very tiny. That's how they usually look. And then I'll do this one, forgot, password, question mark. And again, change this font to 11. All right, so good. I mean, we got our setup here. And now the only other thing we want to do in this video is we want to make sure that we do a segue from our login button to this view controller screen, screen the second view controller screen. So go ahead and control, click, and drag from this one to this one. And release and we're going to hit show that's all we want to do for now and now we want to build and run our app just to make sure that once we hit the login button it'll go to our second screen and let's see if that works out for us all right we got our screen up and as you can see we have our username placeholder text up here in our text field and then the password text down there as well. So like I said, all we want to do is hit the login button just to make sure that the screen does in fact transition and let's see if it works. Cool, it does. All right, guys, well, that's the end of this video. Stay tuned for more of the Ski Channel Swift Coding for Everyone. This is St. R. Edwards. Thank you guys for joining me. Y'all take care.